Today, we're gonna discuss the oft-repeated phrase, make it make sense. Which, quite frankly, with the day that I'm having, um, has been shouted quite a lot. Um, I don't maybe um, know how to make it make sense, but hey, um, maybe this might have a little bit of appreciation of the little things. I'm going into the sequel to the Tao of Pooh. I'm talking about everyone's cute little piggy friend, Piglet, the very small animal who is known to be a bit nervous and a bit stuttery, but also a valid part of the group. And let's see. I have been trying little things like remembering to try to be the uncovered block, to let myself be, um, and to let things roll off, which is tough. I'm not really good at shrugging off things and have a habit of taking responsibility for things that aren't really my business or my crap to hold on to. Let's see. Appreciation of the little things. Uh, thank you, by the way, to Benjamin Hoff. Regardless of how I am, I actually do appreciate what you tr did with ancient arts and Winnie the Pooh characters and old schools of wisdom that I hope to listen to better. The piglet lived in a very grand house in the middle of a beech tree and the beech tree was in the middle of the forest. And Piglet lived in the middle of the house. Next to his house was a piece of broken board that which had Trespasses W written on it. When Christopher Robin asked the Piglet what it meant, he said it had been his grandfather's name and had been in the family for a very long time. Christopher Robin said you couldn't be called Trespasses W. And Piglet said, yes, you could because it was his grandfather's name and was short for Trespasser's Will. And his grandfather had had two names because he lost one, Trespassers after an uncle and William after Trespassers. So we are introduced to Piglet in the third chapter of Winnie the Pooh. It's gonna take me some time and I have to give myself time. I guess that's what I always tell people is give yourself time, give yourself a break, rest, don't take on everything. Um, this week I'm trying to remember that maybe someone who is a little more businesslike and maybe a little bit less of an overthinker should maybe take on the stress and the fight right now while I work on taking care of my own because also like I tell people anxiety and depression come with epilepsy even if you have been years without it and that is years without a seizure and that it's okay but quite frankly, jumping at things like something falling over or the coffee pot not working, that's a sign that you need a good rest. Um, so I'm trying to take one way or the other and try to calm. Well, what are my coping mechanisms? Ah, um, at the moment it's I bottled a lot of things and a lot of stress and grief stuff for 25 years and right at the moment I'm basically a diet Pepsi that someone popped a Mentos into and I need to quit taking on other people's guilt. I need to acknowledge when I've done something wrong but 
I can't keep smacking myself in the face, obviously. Um, and I need to give myself the chance to rest, maybe watch some junk TV. At the moment, it's the um, actually I'm watching the incredible the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which is not junk TV and is quite interesting and quite fun. But watch some terrible costume porn like Versailles. Uh, maybe take my friend Steve's advice and uh, try Better Call Saul before breaking the cuss. And actually do both. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pop a link to their channel, by the way, down below. Um, give it a little bit of help. Uh, their, their, their podcast is fantastic. I think that a lot of people would really, really like it. Um, so anyway, um, I think what I'm going to tell people to do this week is share the love. Uh, give time. Focus on things like well, not jumping. Um, and if you need to get mad, yeah, it's bound to happen. Right now. The world doesn't make sense, and it's understandable. But you're loved, and um, give yourselves love. But don't take on other people's responsibilities. Don't take on other people's guilt. And, um, when to take a rest. And that's my goal. Take good care.